Sometimes you want to create something, but only on a specific vertex. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender. Once again, taking a look at how to create vertex groups. Um, and pretty much what vertex groups are are you've seen them be you've seen them be used. You've seen them used in my videos a couple of times. Uh, especially for particle systems or hair or something of that nature. Um, so let's get started really quickly. It's really, really simple, actually. I had a couple people ask me about this in the past and uh, one recently. So we're getting started today. I'm going to delete this cube because we don't need that. I'm going to use a sphere to demonstrate today. So Shift A, UV sphere. And uh, hit S to scale that on up so you can see a bit better. Now, if I hit tab to go into edit mode, you see we have all these vertices here. We can choose from uh, edge, from, from vertice mode, edge, or face select mode. I'm going to go to vertices here, and I'm going to just hit A to unselect everything. And I'm going to uh, pick a specific place, and hit C on my keyboard to grab the brush tool. And then we'll just, we'll grab, we'll grab these top, these top vertices right here. Um, right there. So I'll right click to get rid of my cursor, uh, my brush cursor. Now, if we drag this panel open over on the side and go to this uh, this object, what is this, the object that no, the the, the uh, yeah the object data tab? I knew that. The object data tab. We can go to down over here to vertex groups and hit a plus right there and add a new group. We'll call this group. We'll double tap that and call this top. And now we'll hit assign. So now these vertices have now been assigned to the group top, which is really cool and really sweet. So now we can go out of tab, edit mode by hitting tab. And now what we can do now. Is going over to uh, any specific thing. I'm going to be using a uh, a hair test for this. So we're going, to, we're going to add a particle system and change this type from emitter to hair. Now we have hair all over the place, but it's not actually picking up our vertex group. And the reason for this is let me bump this emission up, this this uh, number up by the way. The reason for this is because we do not have it set. So we're going to go down here to uh, vertex groups right there, downsize that, and go to density. And now we're going to click in density, and you see we can have our top right there. Click top and boom, instantly you can see we have our vertex group is completely working. Um, and just, uh, we can actually do a couple more things. We can add this to length. So now the length is uh, being determined by the um, by the vertex group as well. So uh, I can go back to the vertex group and go back in the tab and add some more faces. So maybe I want uh, some hair on the sides too. So I'll go on the sides and I'll, uh, I'll uh, make sure we have, uh, we have, make sure we have this, this bad boy right here on. Three on my numpad to go into side view. Hit C to add, to edit up that brush and grab that. Just grab these these vertices right there. This looks pretty good. And now while uh, we can hit assign, if we go back on out, you can see it's not working. We have to go ahead and refresh this by deleting both of these and then adding them back in. You can instantly see we have uh, hair now on our faces. I'm gonna change that to smooth shading and we might even add a subdivision surface. Refreshing this once again and i hope this tutorial helped you guys out to uh, learn how to create vertex groups this is like a clown to, to create vertex groups uh, and i will see you guys in the next tutorial hope you guys learned something new today i'll see you guys then but for now bye